Elizabeth Nord has spent the last three years of her life trying to find an answer. Why do men want to leave their old lives behind them to join the strange and uncompromising world of the French Foreign Legion? Join the Legion, live in the south of France, get paid to live in the south of France. What more could you ask for? Notre Père, qui est aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vient. Embarquez! What is it that makes thousands of men a year apply to join this notoriously brutal and strict division of the French army? Is it escape? Is it machismo? C'est du chocolat. Too much work, not enough men. A nightmare. Or is it the chance to belong to the famed and mythical home of heroes? The chance to fight with your brother in arms? Or the chance to prove you're tougher than the rest? Christmas time is a very special occasion for the family that is the Legion. But perhaps the most intense intercompany rivalry is to establish the company that can construct the finest Christmas crib. Adjutant Robenheimer and his platoon have been chosen to represent the third company in this year's Christmas crib competition. These traditions to the outsider may seem insignificant, but within the Legion, and amongst the soldiers. These customs carry great weight and responsibility. I'm explaining the work that needs to be done for the crib um, and what we're going to build here. This man is going to be the priest who is actually going to be present in the crib. Adjutant Robenheimer went to an English boarding school. Good preparation for the rigors of army life while his parents wanted him to go to Oxford or Cambridge, he secretly dreamt of becoming a legionnaire. He has achieved the highest rank possible for an NCO, commanding 4th platoon, and now he's coming to the end of his time with the army. Captain Kutanze is commanding the 3rd Company of the 2nd Foreign Infantry Regiment. He's put his faith in Robenheimer to win the Christmas crib competition. So this morning the, the general uh, commanding the foreign legion is going to come in the, in the company for, for, for have a look of the preparation of the quich and uh, other works for, Noel, for Christmas. Robenheimer has an ambitious design for his crib and the whole venture must be planned like a military campaign if he's to succeed. And a waste of time. Wasting time, losing time. Let go. In his 20 years as a legionnaire, Robenheimer has never won the contest. Could it be, in his last year as a serving soldier, that he could eventually realize this long-held ambition? But things have not begun well. He's very far behind on an already tight schedule. We need some, some equipment to, to finish the crash properly and um, I'm going to go out and buy what we need for the, for the crash. I left England pretty much after school so I preferred the idea of joining the Legion of the British Army. The Legion at the time was a lot more attractive than the British Army. Because at the time when I joined we were still in the Cold War. Um, and the British Army was Germany and Northern Ireland, neither of which were particularly interesting. And the Legion was in Africa and running around doing all sorts of interesting things. In Djibouti, in Africa, the Legion has its toughest combat training center, CCAP, which offers perhaps the harshest military training that exists. The instructors and their methods are renowned and feared throughout the world. <laughs> Oh, no, no. 
snipers work in pairs, often drop behind enemy lines. They are the eyes and ears of a detachment. A fully trained sniper can take out a target from over two kilometers away. We are specialized like a sniper train. So we are for three, four weeks uh, on the field and everything we need, it's in our sack. We don't change yeah, clothes, everything. Yeah, because it's very important to be at strictly necessary. Battez la main. Dès que tu arrives en position, c'est bon. OK. Tu utilises tout le fort. Niente. Tranquille, fluide. Suis, OK. Deuxième chose. Dès que vous tirez, changement de position tout de suite. Send two people out there. <coughs> you give them a map, some coordinates, and they go out there. They take every information, and they can take out this if it needs someone, or, or maybe they can uh, coordinate um, an air attack or a field attack. No problem. For that, this is most one of the most important thing what the army has. Changement de position. Restez pas là-bas. Si vous tirez, c'est quelqu'un qui vous voit là. <coughs> They must be slow and graceful. Any sudden movement can alert the enemy and lead to instant discovery and almost certain death. Because of his legion training, after he leaves the army, a sniper can command rich contract as a covert operator in the murky world of the hired mercenary. Robenheimer's army of helpers are working around the clock to try to save the company's entry into this year's crib competition. The Legion tradition of doing crashes is just, it's a Legion tradition amongst all the others. Um, and like all our traditions, needs to be respected. Because when you lose one, you start losing the rest. Um, and it's very difficult to pinpoint which of the traditions are important and which of the traditions are a waste of time. And I think we've already lost some traditions and that hasn't done us a lot of good. Um, the, the Legion evolves with the world it's living in. Um, and the world that we live in is a very individualistic world where everyone is allowed to do whatever they want and be responsible for nothing. Um, and the Legion is nothing to do with that. The Legion is about everyone is responsible for everyone else and no one is allowed to do what they want. Everyone must do what they're supposed to do, which is completely in contradiction with the world today today's moral values in the Western world. And so the traditions that we have um, help us to keep some of those moral values. What is a man searching for when he enlists in the French Foreign Legion? Sanctuary? Brotherhood. Identity. Djibouti in Africa, the Legion has its toughest combat training center, CCAP. Armies from all over the world use this renowned facility. <laughs> Captain Alio, the leader of the CCAP combat training center in Djibouti, keeps a watchful eye over his combatants. On se retrouve tout de suite après le rassemblement dans le faré. Capo! 
This is the ultimate examination for any soldier. OK, mettez-vous ici face à moi. On va revoir une dernière fois le schéma du principe ce matin du travail de l'exercice parcours de tirel de ce matin. Les farets, plage des Italiens, le champ de tir. Premier temps, les trois bateaux seront ici. Se mettre en appui, ici, face ici. Pas de questions it is in this exercise that the Legionnaire will be tested on all the drills and manoeuvres he's practiced in the three weeks of his combat training. For the last 21 days under the leadership of Captain Alio, the men have practiced shooting for cover and managing their ammunition. Firstly, they will demonstrate they've learned how to shoot safely and correctly from a boat. This is the ultimate examination for any soldier. Now, under pressure, they must keep their heads cool. Well, on in the first phase of the manip, the hein, exercise. En fait, on est en attente au large. On a un groupe qui est parti se mettre en bateau en appui. On attend son compte rendu pour savoir s'il a décelé de l'ennemi ou non. Et s'il a décelé de l'ennemi, on va, on va continuer notre reconnaissance en engageant éventuellement le combat. C'est à moi d'assez. J'adore ça. Look, the sea, the sun, military, the famous, beautiful life. Sure. Disposition de combat pour tout le monde. Ok, après la haut, demandez si la pluie est en place. Attention à la masse. Vite, vite, coup par coup. Distance environ 200 mètres. Il y a des, euh, deux, donc, deux autres jacks qui vont arriver par la plage. Effectif euh, une, une, une section. Débarquer sur la plage, prendre la, prendre la plage d'assaut. Two Zodiac boats attack the enemy beach. Using live ammunition, the group on the hill will act as backup and give covering fire as the sections disembark. Les quatre cibles au bord de la plage, vous ne tirez pas jusqu'à moi dans les ordres. They will have to implement correctly, with great speed and fluency, all the skills that they've been taught. In combat, there is no room for failure, and the exercises are designed as intense physical and mental challenges. Une fois que l'assaut est fini, fouille de zone. Ensuite, rembarquement dans le Zodiac. Et au moment où ils embarquent, les, euh, les, les gens qui sont ici appuient l'embarquement le, euh, de la section. Voilà, c'est quelque chose de simple, rapide, efficace. On appuie On décroche, premier groupe Tout le monde appuie Ça tire After the attack is finished, they must re-embark using smoke grenade screens as cover and advancing in combat in a synchronized way whilst remembering to keep in their line formations. Objectif dans le premier rideau fumigène. Allez, 
Finissez, finissez le chargeur qui était prévu là On se maintient à 50%. Allez, allez, allez. 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 Ok, coupe le moteur. C'était bien, mais il y a deux choses qui me gênent. Pourquoi on jette des fumigènes Pourquoi Pour pouvoir partir en étant caché. Alors si vous ne jetez pas la fumigène devant vous et que vous n'attendez pas qu'il y ait de la fumée, regardez, regardez, on a le temps. Il faut attendre qu'il y ait de la fumée et après on part. Si vous jetez et que vous partez, l'ennemi vous tire. Donc il ne faut pas être pressé. On jette le fumigène à 10 mètres, on attend que ça fume bien. À un moment donné, vous avez vu, il y avait un trou. Il y en a un qui n'a pas jeté devant lui. OK, le sergent, il est obligé d'en jeter un autre. Ça, c'est pas bon. OK, combien il reste de fumigène il reste... Combien en tout 1, 1, 2, 0. Les munitions, c'est bon Vous avez géré OK, écoutez-moi bien. Écoutez-moi bien. Je donne l'ordre à tout le monde, quand on est presque arrivé à la plage, de tirer toutes les munitions. Toutes les munitions. Robenheimer is also on a mission. That's going to be for the sunset. Good lighting works, bad lighting is a disaster. Even with the general due to inspect the unfinished crib and the possibility that they might not be able to proceed, Robenheimer can see light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Lieutenant Ryu is also making festive plans. This is his fourth Christmas as platoon leader, having joined the Legion direct from France's prestigious military academy, Saint-Cyr. For the next week, we have three main uh, activities. First, the crib. Uh, secondly, the, um, the sketch for the Christmas night. And uh, finally, the um, Christmas uh, platoon bar. I'm Basile. Moi j'étais chez moi, je fais, je fais l'armée chez moi et j'avais envie de rester. Il n'y avait pas de place. Alors, et un jour j'étais à internet, tac, et je ne sais pas pourquoi, il est venu dans ma tête les mots légion étrangère. Même pas qu'est-ce que c'est passeport. Et là j'étais là-bas et... et voilà, c'est deux ans, deux ans, trois mois je suis là. Enfin, on ne sait pas si on a des soldats ou si on a des... Si on est dans une école en train de faire des maquettes, quoi, un truc de fou. Moi, je préférais bien être sur le terrain là, en train de faire de l'entraînement, quoi, et pas... pas ici en train de faire des maquettes, quoi. Captain Coutance is in charge of discipline, so it's a nervous wait for three legionnaires outside the captain's office. One waits for promotion, but is his French good enough? A legionnaire must learn to speak French from the moment he enlists. Otherwise, he's severely dealt with. The legion protects its own. They will give you a new identity if that helps you break with the past, and if you prove yourself. You can then apply to have your real name back. Legionnaire de première cause automatique, un an, six mois de service. Troisième compagnie, section de l'ultime envoyé, fonction pilote VAP, à vos hommes, mon capitaine. Parce que bientôt j'ai eu un stage caporal. Il y a des conseils Il m'a dit ça. Bon, notamment, il y a eu un, il a dit justement, enfin, un problème médical à la compagnie, d'accord Donc, ton tour de CE avance. C'est mon niveau de français, c'est pour moi, ça, pour, 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 ça suffit, mon capitaine. Je parle français un peu. Je peux expliquer mon problème. Ouais. 
Je sais bien. Je fais me donne mon nom, la vraie, la vraie nom, le nom de CV. Donc tu vas lire consciencieusement ton papier, d'accord De toute façon à ce que ton, ton nom ne soit pas écorché pendant un an. Tu lis, d'accord Tu vérifies l'orthographe. Ouais. On va donner les noms, c'est tout. Je vais signer un papier et c'est bon. Oui, correct. The third legionnaire wants permission to buy a car. Sergeant Mitishnikovs, 5 ans, 3 mois de service, 6 mois de grade, 3 e compagnie, 6 chars de l'Union, fonction, chef de groupe, Azomoyten. Mais trop beau. Je mets pas Azomoyten. In the legion, for the first 5 years of service, a soldier cannot buy a car, a mobile phone, or even get married without permission from his commanding officer. Mitishnikovs, est-ce que je peux demander autorisation pour acheter un véhicule? Ok. Allez, une patate, petit exploser. For a platoon leader to lose one of his soldiers dampens the Christmas spirit. For any family to lose one of its sons is a tragedy. To desert from the Legion is failure and breaks the bond of brotherhood that makes the Legion strong. So when we have uh, when one when one legionnaire flee, we have to write a paper like uh, this with uh, different information about uh, him because uh, this night one of my legionnaires flee so I have uh, to do this paper now The Legion consists of so many young men from so many different cultures and countries their reasons for coming as myriad as their reasons for staying <laughs> All have left their old family behind to join the Legion. What binds the Legion together is its codes and customs. It's these rituals that unites the family of the Legion. General Pichot de Champfleury is simply the father of the Legion. This will be his 15th year spent amongst his soldiers, but his first as a general in charge. In the Legion, a general is allowed to serve only three years, but in his short tenure he will look to encourage and support his sons, the Legionnaires. The, the general commanding the foreign legion is used to coming into all regiments, uh, all legion regiments, uh, about uh, twice or three, four times in a year. La visite du général qui commande la légion. Pour Noël, pour les légionnaires, c'est le père de famille qui vient voir un peu ses, ses enfants. Je ne viens pas pour les voir travailler, euh, ça j'ai d'autres occasions dans l'année pour le faire. Je viens simplement pour leur dire, je suis avec vous, au milieu de vous, et on va tous faire Noël ensemble. C'est la mise en condition pour passer des super fêtes de Noël et une super soirée de Noël, tous ensemble. Ouais, donc vous êtes rentré mardi, donc ça fait deux jours que vous êtes là. Voilà, et depuis deux Jour, euh, tout le monde travaille. Vous avez déjà lancé tout ça, quoi. Oui. Et vous allez travailler toute la journée, probablement un peu pendant la nuit. Ouais. With the general's inspection underway and all the other platoon cribs near completion, Robenheimer still has nothing to show for all his efforts. Not good. Not good. Too much work. Not enough men. Too much work, not enough men. A nightmare. Everything is under control. <laughs> the Legion march at 88 paces per minute, rather than the usual 120. This has been a strong Legion tradition throughout the ages.
comme ça, clac, clac. Comme ça, ça fait un truc euh, dense, assez solide. While the general is enjoying the Christmas crib presentations from the other companies, Robenheimer is not yet nearly ready. Daniel, tu concites, tu réalises des sentences avec tes gros doigts et tes gros bras, tu fais des sentences aussi fins. De Saint Joseph, je suis assez impressionné. Attends, va me le chercher là, on va voir. Montre en moi. Et il y a combien de personnages dans ta crèche Tu vas en faire combien des sentences Trois rois mages, mm -hmm. Gaspard, Mac, mm -hmm. Macchior et Balthazar, mm -hmm. Joseph, Vierge Marie, bien sûr, et mm -hmm. petit Jésus, et puis mm -hmm. on, va, on, on, va, on va voir combien ça me reste un jour à l'argile. Tu es de quelle nationalité Je suis polonais. Oui, polonais. Oui, oui, oui. <rire> C'est du chocolat. <rire> Bravo. Mais le plus important, c'est le moment où on fait la crèche. Parce que c'est le, le moment où l'idée jaillit, c'est la cohésion de, de toute l'équipe, de toute la section pour monter tout ça. C'est les différents talents qui se conjuguent pour sortir un projet final abouti. C'est ça qui est... Ouais, non, mais est euh... À la nuit, quand elle est faite... En fait, c'est génial de regarder ouais, ouais, les ouais. Ah. On va aller voir la, les projets de la première. Captain Guéry, commandant de la première compagnie, à aux en Bonjour. Mais devant. Là, il euh, y a eu des combats, là. Il hein. y a les, les études munitions qui, qui sont ouvertes, il y a un bidon qui a explosé. Là. Et toi, tu as déjà fait des crèches C'est la première fois. C'est la première fois Ça te plaît Tu fais quoi dans la crèche, toi tu, fais le... tu as compris ma question Qu'est-ce que tu as préparé pour la crèche Les arbres, le... Oui. oui. Je dis oui pour me faire plaisir. <rire> Toi, tu as fait quoi dans la crèche Toi, quoi Tu as fait quoi J'ai fait là-bas. Là-bas oui. Ça Non. Là-bas, le sol. D'accord, le sol. Allez, bah, je te souhaite bonne chance. Et l'année prochaine, tu parleras un peu mieux français, hein, sinon... Oui, moi j'ai là. Tu ne seras pas capable. <rire> ok. Allez, c'est parti. On y va. Joyeux Noël <rire> Christmas is stressful for all families, including Robenheimer's family of men working flat out to be ready for the competition. Mon impression, c'est je suis toujours émerveillé par la quantité d'amour et d'énergie qu'ils mettent dans l'élaboration des crèches. Euh, ils ont une imagination, ils ont un souci du détail. Euh, des, moi, je suis toujours éberlué. Euh, des années après, je ne me lasse pas d'aller voir leurs crèches et surtout de me faire expliquer comment les idées leur en sont venues et qu'est-ce que ça rappelle chez eux dans leur vie antérieure. Euh, the general is due at any moment and could possibly close the whole operation down if Robenheimer cannot persuade him that his crib will be completed by Christmas Eve. Elle est en cours de création. En cours de création. Alors elle va ressembler à quoi là Je vois des avions, je vois des, des VAB. Alors le, le thème c'est la. Enfin, ça s'intitule la dernière prière. La dernière prière. La dernière avant prière. Quoi euh, avant quoi Avant l'extinction de la vie d'un vieux pape rémissionnaire de l'Afrique ouais. et qui va remémorer un peu certains événements où les légionnaires sont venus. Donc là on aura un petit tableau. Euh, Opération euh, Taco. Ouais. Euh, ici, il y aura l'opération Pelican. Ouais. Mmh. Et puis euh, l'opération euh, euh, Côte d'Ivoire. Je sais qu'il y a eu l'idée. C'est euh, mon idée. D'accord. Et eux, ils réalisent. Ils sont, Et ils sont des ouvriers qui, euh, ah. qui bossent comme des malades. <rire> Et le parler, c'est. Il faut, vous savez qu'il faut qu'elle soit prête pour le 24 quand même. Hein On va bosser jusqu'à minuit, je pense. <rire> okay. Allez, ben c'est bon. Ben, courage et puis continuez. Si je ne m'inquiète pas pour le 24, mais je ne fais pas, pas d'illusion sur leurs horaires. Voilà. Vous allez faire 35 heures en deux jours, quoi, c'est ça Je pense, oui. Voilà, c'est bien. Allez, je vous souhaite bonne chance. Merci. Hein. Joyeux Noël, à l'avance de la part du général qui commande la Vénézuélie. Salut. Bon. Allez, au revoir et bonne chance. Merci. Ah oui. 
this crash is uh, coming on, but we are now the 22nd and it's got to be finished in 48 hours. The Djibouti Obstacle Course has prepared the company for skirmishes in Somalia and Rwanda. Lessons learned here will be invaluable to the serving soldier who finds himself in the midst of conflict. C'est trop difficile. J'ai déjà essayé, ça n'a ça pas marché. Il y a t des blessés depuis ce matin Les gens qui est blessé depuis ce matin Non 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 Ok. The team have to complete the course in less than an hour. In daytime, with an instructor, the task is grueling enough. But a true legionnaire must be able to complete the course at night, under a blanket of impenetrable darkness, forbidden to communicate with anyone. In this situation, the task is treacherous. Mettez-vous plus à droite, plus à droite. The course tests the Legionnaire's ability to work together, to call on unknown reserves of strength. Vous avez compris? Un qui monte sur l'épaule, il garde les poignets. Comme ça, il peut pousser parce qu'en même temps, on tire et il pousse. Allez, je te, je te monte, tu passes les sons par le... Allez. In a timed test over a similar course in French Guiana, a Legionnaire unit took 45 minutes to complete the test, whereas the US Marines no, took seven hours. The record is 32 minutes. These legionnaires of the 13th Half Brigade in Djibouti owe their brave reputation as a notable fuss to the legionnaires of 1940. In Norway, the regiment battled through freezing temperatures to turn the tide of the Second World War. Norway, with its long Atlantic coast, was considered a zone of destiny by Hitler. And the city of Narvik was in particular of strategic importance, as German munitions factories were dependent on Swedish iron ore shipped from the port. The 13th Half Brigade was deployed by France to help take back the city. It was to be the first direct land confrontation between the Allies and the Nazis. While the British Navy gave covering fire, the 13th Half Brigade landed at Bjerkvik, just outside of Narvik. They moved toward the city together with a battalion of Norwegian defense forces. In one of the most heroic moments of the Half Brigade's history, they drove the Germans out of Narvik and towards the Swedish border. The bombs fall on the city. The pire is to find, because the incendie trouve une proie facile with the maisons de deux états. But news that Hitler had invaded France caused the immediate withdrawal of the Legion, and the momentum was lost. However, such damage had been done to the German forces that Hitler's plans to invade Britain had to be halted. Also, without the supply of Swedish iron ore, German war production was set back. Although Hitler regained control of Narvik in the end, 
the bravery of the Legionnaires of the 13th Half Brigade is still remembered today with awe and admiration. It's the morning of Christmas Eve and the final fateful day of the crib competition. For most Legionnaires, it's the breaking of a new day. But for first class Legionnaire Moreira, it's the closing of a very long night. C'est pas le top quoi. Tu travailles Tu travailles, non Non, non, non. J'étais en ville. Faut voir la copine quoi. Allez, à tout à l'heure. For the first five years of service, Legionnaires must live in dorms in the confines of their barracks. It can make it very difficult to have a normal social life. Good morning. I'm not of the morning. Pause the tour. Pause the tour. tour. After the first café, bien sûr. Legionnaires are allowed to leave the regiments if they're not on duty. Si on commence toujours trop tôt là, mais on n'a pas des horaires pour finir quoi. C'est comme ça. Il faut être militaire, mais il faut être civil en même temps. Sinon, ça marche pas trop là. Après, on devient trop. Trop dur dans la tête, c'est pas bien. C'est pas ça que je veux là, tous les temps. J'ai envie bien d'avoir une famille là aussi, c'est bon. Si on est 100% militaire là, après, ça marche pas. Robenheimer studies the panel of distinguished judges. He hopes to impress them with his crib by portraying past missions in Chad. Congo and the Ivory Coast. Now, if we've done something that's completely different, that's great, because that will grab their attention and they'll think, wow, it's great. Uh, if they're completely bored and we do another thing, they've already seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven others the same, they'll just go, hmm. So, um, we can take a look at what's been done so far, and we should now be almost ready. Crash, troisième compagnie, section d'appui. And here, there is still work going on because the VAB is not working terribly well. The VAB is the um, centerpiece, it's the grand finale of, the, of that crash. This is the soundtrack that I spent all afternoon and all night yesterday making. That, this, this part works. It's, uh, the sound is nice, we've got the volume sort of down, we've got an acceptable sound system. The uh, problem is just getting that VAB to work properly. Robenheimer is having to rely on two young German recruits for the successful outcome of his piece de resistance in the competition. He's hoping that the renowned Teutonic methodical and mechanical expertise will save the day. For observers, the Christmas crib competition may seem superficial, but for Robenheimer, it gives him a chance to leave a mark, the merest dimple in the sand of time that is the history of the Legion. 38 and 19 and a half years in the Legion is quite old. I'll be 39 when I leave. I'll still be young. Even if there were English speakers in my platoon, I would still speak. French to them. The Slovak is in my section as well. He also has a very poor level in French and he prefers to speak with Slovakian, uh, Slovakian friends and then try and mix with someone. I mean, he could, if he spoke to a Chineseman, that would do fine because they'd obviously have to end up speaking French. Right. 
can speak to anyone he wants, but he shouldn't speak to his fellow Slovakians, but he does. And so he's well behind on French. And he's not helping himself, and his friends aren't helping him by talking to him in Slovakian. But he doesn't realize that. But that's quite, quite common, actually. The engineers not realizing that they're doing themselves harm by not speaking well, French. And after a couple of years, they suddenly say, wow, um, I'm still treated as the dumb idiot. And I don't think I'm a dumb idiot. Why am they, they treating me like a dumb idiot? They're nasty. Uh, that's one solution. Or the other solution is, why are they treating me like a dumb idiot? Well, perhaps because I don't understand the word, the word they're saying. And if I could understand a bit more of what they're saying, they might be treating me a bit more like the, the intelligent human being that I am. It's Christmas Eve and the day of the final. The doors are open and the dignitaries are arriving to judge the cribs. All Robenheimer can do is wait and hope and pray. We, yes, we are, this morning we have chosen the, the white quetch which uh, will, of course, win the, the competition. All is made with uh, fingers of legionnaires, and this is, uh, for me, it is one of the most important points of uh, the quetch. It must not be a quetch with money. And uh, the, the point of the legionnaires, the quality of the legionnaires, is to adapt and to create something from quite nothing. We have uh, planned something for the women. We have. Uh, uh, put some handkerchief next to chairs or for when they're going to cry. Notre Père, qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Oui, Seigneur, ta volonté sur cette terre, cette terre africaine, que tu sais combien je l'ai aimée. Même, Seigneur, dans les heures les plus sombres, où tout te semblait perdu, tu ne m'as pas abandonné, ni moi, ni tes fidèles. Et même parfois, tu nous as envoyé des gens pour nous sauver, des hommes rudes, des hommes de guerre, mais qui sont venus nous apporter la paix. Quand j'étais au Tchad, après l'indépendance, quand des bandes rebelles venaient s'aimer la terreur et la mort dans le pays, bien des années plus tard, au Congo, là, on se croyait vraiment abandonné de tous. Et pourtant, tout nous a pas oublié. Quand j'ai vu ces légionnaires et leurs avions, je croyais voir un cohorte de tes anges qui venaient du ciel. Au Côte d'Ivoire, juste avant que je vienne me retirer ici, cette guerre civile, si terrible, si meurtrière, les attaques contre les étrangers, qu'ils soient français ou autres, ou simplement l'étranger de l'autre tribu. Là encore, c'était ces braves, ces légionnaires qui sont venus repatrier les uns, séparer les autres, toujours protéger les plus faibles, les plus démunis, face à cette violence, cette haine. Seigneur, bénissez-les. Ces hommes qui viennent toujours pour sauver, comme tu es venu aussi pour nous sauver. Tu es venu sur cette terre, tu es devenu homme, en cette nuit de Noël, il y a 2000 ans, tu es venu, Jésus, pour nous sauver de nos péchés et tu t'es offerte en sacrifice pour que nous puissions vivre comme ces légionnaires prêts à l'ultime sacrifice. Merci, mon Dieu. Mon général, mesdames, messieurs, sous-officiers, les caporales et légionnaires de la section à pieux de la 3 compagnie vous souhaitent un joyeux Noël et très bonne année 2007.
assez difficile hein, de choisir. <rire> Everything worked. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Tout à fond. Everything worked like it was supposed to. Now it's up to the jury to decide whether they like what they saw or not. But uh, the effect that I tried to achieve was achieved. Now, have to wait and see. As Robenheimer nervously waits, the judges confer. As Christmas Eve slips into Christmas Day, Robenheimer learns that he's finished second in the contest. Through his presentation, he's honored the men that have gone before him and given their lives in the service of the Legion. The Legion is your family and will always be your home. At Christmas time, there is only one place to be for a Legionnaire, and that is with his family. <laughs> 